What is up YouTube? This is Vapus010 coming at you with my second video. My first one was just a test one to kind of get my new account all set up. This is all just about vaping. Um, I'm sitting here with my Relo RX200 and my Hercules Plus tank vaping on some G2 grits and uh, we're going to take a pull right here. Vapor at 45 watts. We got a 0.4 ohm canthal coil in here. I'm coming at you guys just to uh I got a another video that hasn't been up yet. I have my whole unboxing of all this and my CCI charger. Um but YouTube won't let me uh, or upload it right now. Because it is too long. It's longer than 15 minutes. It's like 21 minutes. So I got to get that all figured out. But for now we're going to do a video about all my juices I have. So I have my Relo bar box sitting here. I got my uh, Canthal coils. There's a little bit of money up there. That's just there for my trip back to Iowa. But I got uh, I think five different juices in here. And I'm going to take them out and kind of talk about each one. And uh my experience for each one I've had at least uh, one full tank if not a lot more than that we're gonna start out with of course the one I'm vaping on now which is D2 grits uh, this is I believe a higher VG oh, I guess it doesn't say um, yeah I think it's a higher uh, a higher PG. I think all these are higher PG except for this Cyclops paper. Yeah, this Cyclops paper is VG based. It's a uh, it's a little thicker. I think it's VG that's thicker. I mean, I don't remember, guys. I'm sorry, but right now I'm smoking on the G2 grits. Right now, or D2 grits. I always get that fucked up. But we're gonna take another poll, and I'm gonna kind of talk about it. It's a uh, a very creamy flavor. It's kind of like a uh, like a strawberry banana cream. It's definitely very sweet, like strawberry banana custard cream. I know a lot of people don't like the custard flavors. I don't mind them at all, but um. Yes, I believe this is a higher VG rating. Um, this is uh, 3 milligrams nicotine. I usually don't go higher than that, except for my uh, guava lavas here. The only reason those are 6 milligrams is because they're only $5 at the vape shop, so I grabbed them. Um, this, these ones, these uh, D2s cost me five fifty for 15 mil bottles, $5.50. On uh, vapenw.com, it's also the same place I got my Hercules tank and my Relo, which was uh, the Relo was $43 and I believe the tank was $26. Um, I mean, the coils were almost as much as the tank, which I thought was a little crazy. But yeah, that's the the. D2 grits. I mean, I don't really have an extensive description of all of them, guys, but I'm just kind of going off right now. Uh, the next one is the another D2 banana slamma. That one sounds exactly how it is, except it's not. I was uh, a little disappointed in uh, this banana slamma. It wasn't as good of a banana as I thought it would be. Uh, I kind of said it was supposed to be kind of like a banana sundae kind of thing, but it really didn't. It didn't even really have that banana flavor in it. It kind of just had a, like a vanilla ice cream flavor to it. Um, it's it's not. I'm not saying that it's bad. It's just uh, misinterpreted for what the name is. It kind of smells like roasted marshmallows. Um, but I mean, that's all I can really say for this one. It wasn't that amazing or anything. It was pretty decent, but uh, 
not as good as I was hoping it was going to be. My other one, uh, it's empty right now, but it's my one of my favorite flavors and one of my favorite uh, brand names out there. That's the Cosmic Fog Kryptonite. It's a very, it's like a melon candy flavor. It's uh, definitely one of my favorites. Uh, most of Cosmic Fogs, I believe, are all 50-50 ratio, which is a pretty good ratio. It's um, probably my favorite ratio, just a straight 50-50 blend. And my last one is the Cyclops Vapor Artemis, I believe it is. And my next or my first video I made when I uh, unboxed all this, I definitely didn't say that. Uh, I said like RTMS or something, but I believe it's Artemis. This is a, a berry cobbler. Um, I like this one a lot. Um, it's, it, it definitely tastes like a berry cobbler. It, it's kind of more of like a uh, the very mixed berry. Um, it's got that kind of that crunchy cobbler sweetness to it. It's a really good one. This one was also 550 for the the uh, 15 milliliter. Uh, this is the 65 uh, VG 35 PG ratio. Um, I usually like mine to be. 50-50 or higher VG, um, but it was 550, so I wasn't gonna complain. Um, I don't really have much to say about this one. It, this one isn't a very uh, high premium juice, I guess you could say, but it's still, I would say it's better than most uh, house juices you see at uh, vape stores. But I mean, you never know. Sometimes they have some good ones. My next one is this uh, guava lava drip tonic. Um, I think people get these messed up a lot because I was looking up online it kept saying guava lava by drip tonic guava lava by Apollo max I think that's the flavor it is not the uh, the brand name every time I looked at it I was like oh I want to try or I want guava lava by Apollo max I want guava lava by drip tonic that's I don't that's not right guys these juices smell and taste completely different completely different this one literally smells the way it tastes the ways it smells this one smells exactly like trolley sour gummy worms um you don't get the sour flavor to it but it has just like, like it literally tastes like you just took a bite out of a trolley sour gummy worm um this one is the drip tonic this one was the apollo max that was like the gummy worms the drip tonic is like fruity pebbles, like a bowl of fruity pebbles before you put the milk in. Like you just took a box of fruity pebbles, took a handful and threw them in your mouth. That's what it's like, and I, I love it. These two flavors, um, even though they're six six uh, milligrams nicotine, which is uh, really strong for my taste, um, that's why these ones are barely touched because um, when I vape off of them, I can't vape for more than, you know, two, three minutes. I can't take more than, like, five pulls because it really, uh, that throat hit really gets to me. Um, but I will say that for flavor, these two are really good. Um, these are high VG. I guess that's what I like. Not PG. I like VG. Sorry, guys. Um, you can definitely tell they're high VG because they're very liquidy. Um, so when I'm vaping those, I have to close the Hercules fuel tanks down really, really far. This is, uh, like I said, the, the D2 grits, great vapor production. Um, I closed down my airflow was a little open on the top and bottom. I like to keep them about two thirds open each. I've switched out the coils. I used to have the the 316 stainless steel but it is getting it's hard to see in this camera but it's getting quite uh, dirty. That coil is quite gunked up. Uh, just the, ju or the juice coming out of it with it sitting on the piece of paper I have right now is quite gunked up. 
Um, but other than that, guys, that's about all I wanted to come at you with was a quick little uh, look at all these juices. Um, I have a lot more than I expected to have when I first started because I started with these four. And then I sucked down one. Of course, it was the Cosmic Fog. This is just one of... Cosmic Fog is probably my favorite brand. Uh, other than their milk and something. Milk and honey and... Uh, what's the other one? Uh, Cola Gummy. I like all of them. Those ones are a little... Dude, those two are a little strange. Um, but yeah, guys. I just have it all sitting in my nice... Uh, Relo RX 200 box. It's all packed up, ready for me to go back to Iowa. I might do a video with my buddies up there, see what they've been up to. Um, I charge. Th this is another thing, guys. I charged this thing two days ago now. It's been two days. I charged it. Literally two days ago at night and it got done. I was vaping on it that night and then all through yesterday and all through today and this battery is a third gone. A fucking third gone, guys. Which means that if we're going to portion it out between the three batteries, that means only one of the batteries out of the three I have in here would be completely dead. That is amazing, guys. This thing has the greatest lifespan ever. Greatest lifespan ever. Um... Like I said, I just switched back to uh, back to wattage. It was in temp control for probably the past four, maybe five days. And uh, I was never a big fan of temp control, and I really liked it. It worked really well. But yeah, guys. That's all I got for you right now. I'm going to throw this up as soon as this is done recording. And uh, this is uh, Vapus010 getting out. So you need to hide your mods and hide your tanks because I'm vaping everything up in here.